Hello, hello. This is Kate Cherry, the Regional Director of the Athena Network for Bedfordshire and the AL part of Hertfordshire. And I'm joined here today by the lovely Nicola Church, personal trainer of Elevation Personal Training. Hi, Nicola. Hi, Kate. Uh, really pleased to have you with us today because um, we've interviewed before. You've been a member of my groups for probably three years now, I think, roughly. Yeah, maybe um, four, actually. I joined in COVID. Like that, yeah, yeah, you were a founder member of my Bedfordshire group, which, which was going to stay virtual. And then it turns out everything stayed virtual. So, yeah, we're really pleased to have you in the network. And we thought it'd be a great idea to um, come back online and find out a little bit more about you. So for the, those who are seeing this for the first time, I uh, like to give my members a bit more exposure um, to the wider world and not keep, keep them to ourselves to make sure that everyone else can um, find out why they're brilliant and why they might, they or their network might need them. So Nicola is a member of our South Beds um, Athena Network Group. We are online business networking. Uh, we meet once a month. We have a professional lockout and we're national. So there are groups wherever you are. And our members have the benefit that they can tap into any of those groups as long as their seat isn't taken. And Nicola's definitely taken advantage of that. Um, so I'm going to dive right in with the questions, Nicola. So tell us what your business is, what's Elevation um, Personal Training and how do you help people? So um, Elevation Personal Training is there to support women in their 40s, 50s and beyond and learn to get fitter and healthier in a way that is sustainable for them. And a lot of my clients work out at home, not everyone, but the majority do. So it's a way of creating home workouts that you can do from the comfort of your lounge or maybe your home gym or your garage, garage gym. And it's also looking at you holistically as well. You know, what else is going on around you in your life and ways that we can improve your health in other ways. Amazing. And I've been I've benefited from this myself. And we've got some exciting news at the end, haven't we, about stuff you've got coming up. But um, who's your ideal? Like, who's the person who would be like, I need Nicola? Is it maybe someone who's registered for a gym and never gone? Or um, they just are stuck for time? Who Who's that person? What are the different types of people that use your services? Yeah, my clients tend to be um, women in their 40s who um, are professional, who um, have got busy careers. Often they run their own businesses and they are very, very time poor. They may have a big family. They may have other relatives that are dependent on them. And they really want to find a way that they can make some really positive improvements to their health in a way that they can do permanently. So it's not ever a quick fix. A lot of the time these women have invested before in expensive gym memberships and they've never had the time to go or maybe they started going and they stopped because they've realised that they can't just they can't have it in their in their daily life. So we look at what's going on in your life. You know, how, how, how many hours a week do you work? How much you move on a daily basis? What else is going on around you? What's your previous history with exercise and nutrition? And we come together with a, a solution that's going to work around you that is continually tweaked and adapted because things change, right? We don't always stay in the same place and I don't want you to stay in the same place because that's the reason why you came to me in the first place. So continually changing and adapting as you get fitter and as you get stronger, as you start making more changes to what you're eating and how you're moving. So, yeah, it's very tailored and very personal to the individual. Now remind us um, why you ended up doing this. How did how did this come about? How did you start your business? What's the background? Well, I spent um, I've done I've done quite a few different careers. So I'd had the, had my second daughter, and I had really bad postnatal depression with Lucia. And the only way I really kind of got out of it was by obviously number one having some um, antidepressants from the GP, but also not just doing that but by making some real changes to my nutrition and to how I moved. So I moved away from having a very sort of processed um, diet, you know, kind of full of diet foods and diet meals to eating whole natural foods and to moving my body differently as well. I used to spend a lot of time just doing cardio because I thought it would just burn fat. And I moved away from doing that to doing some running and some weight training as well. And the, difference it made to me physically and mentally was amazing 
And I realized that I wanted to help other women make those changes too. So I thought I would start up a personal training business. Brilliant. Simple as. I love that. There's so many stories of people who've had a life event happen and it's led to what they do now. And I love that. And it's using yeah, your strengths, absolutely. isn't it? Something you enjoyed. If you're not enjoying what you're doing, so that's perfect. You picked something that you enjoyed and it impacted you in a positive way. Uh, so why not help other people achieve that? Because it's not about the what, is it? It's about the why and why they need you um, and what you can help them achieve, isn't it? Um, so you've been, like we said, you've been an Athena member about four years now. I know you joined uh, initially because appeal it appealed to you that it was something that was online that you were going to be able to fit in um how's it going what um collaborations have you been able to have and how are you enjoying it yeah athena's been um, amazing for me really i've not only have i got clients who are actually athena members but i've also been able to collaborate with other members i had uh one member who is a cbt therapist collaborate with me on one of my group coaching programs where we talk to a group of my clients about using CBT methods um, for um, emotional eating. So that was really good. I've collaborated with a breathwork specialist as well. So there's, you know, like a wealth of people that I can collaborate with, but also there's the support there. You know, you've got someone that, that is that is a professional in marketing. You know, you can always go to them and speak to them about something. You know, you've got accountants, you can speak to them if you've got a query, if you, if you don't understand something to do with your own situation. So... There's a wealth of people that you can you can speak to. So it's not only about getting business, it's about getting support within your business. Yeah, I hear you totally. It's a, Most people join networking for the bottom line and get new business, but actually you realise how much more you get from it, isn't it? And we're going to be collaborating, aren't we? We're going to do an Athena workout um, for charity, aren't we, at some point in the next I guess it's next few weeks now, next couple of months. And so watch this space for those listening. And uh, Nicola's going to be running it with uh, the lovely breathwork instructor that she mentioned. And we're going to be doing that for charity. So um, I think it'd be sensible to probably have two times that way. If someone can't come to one, they can come to the other. We'll see. So watch this space. Yeah, we'll sort something apart, out. Apart from that, then, just to wrap up, what else have you got going on? Um, what's next for you in your business? How can people engage with you right now? So I'm really, really passionate about strength training, which is using your body as resistance and also using bands and weights. The older we get, especially women, estrogen declines, which means that our bone density and our muscles are affected. And the only way to combat this is to use it or lose it. And so many women aren't moving correctly or aren't moving with the right resistance and the right load. So I've decided to start an introductory, introductory course to strength training, which is going to be for absolute beginners. And we're going to go through all, all the basic movements that you need to do to get stronger and fitter, to prevent osteoporosis, improve your bone density and get stronger and more toned. So that starts on the 22nd of April and it's going to be live on Zoom at 7.30. And it's also going to be recorded. So don't worry if you do miss a session and you'll get plenty of opportunities to speak to me about how you're moving your form and how you can move better so I'm really really excited about that perfect I love that you've always got a new thing you're always reinventing you're always responding to what people need and bringing something new into it so I love that um, Nicola it's been a, a pleasure if you'd like to meet Nic Nicola then uh, come along to her Athena meeting or any of our meetings and then you can use your Pulse Plus to visit hers um and we'll be putting all your links uh well i'll be tagging you everywhere this is posted if you're looking at this on youtube there'll be a link in the description um but yeah do and you can share as well can't you nicola so it's been yeah a pleasure. there's also a link Thank you to so much. book a discovery call with me so if you'd like to do uh, that, yes that'd be lovely We'll do that too. Yeah, send me those links and we'll put them in here. Um so thank you everybody. Thank you, Nicola. Take care and bye bye. Thank you, bye bye.